Shalom Mishpaka. This is the day El Shaddai has made to rejoice and be glad in it. I have a message for you today. And that is to tell you the season we are in. We are in a new season. <clears throat> in an exciting one at that. <clears throat> because it is written, those that know their El shall be strong and do exploits. And so, we are in an exciting season. But before I continue, let us pray. Hakadosh Baruch, I thank you because this is the day that you've made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. There is no one like unto you in all our rights. We all esteem the ascribed to your most Kadosh name. Abba, I am praying and asking this hour that you speak to your children and interpret this message in a way that they will understand and let your name be esteemed forever and ever. So that Rabbi Abba, because you've done this and you've heard my prayer, so be it. The information, the message is coming from Kohelet. As you can see the date, that was 25th of this month. I was giving this message and to tell El Shaddai's children all over the world the season we are in, they should prepare themselves. Our Redeemer is coming. Our Yeshua is coming. And it can only be delivered when you are having the rock of joy, thanksgiving, and praise. And you overstand the season you're in and key in to that season. It is taken from Kohelet, that is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. It says, to all, there is an appointed time, even a time for every pursuit under the Shamayim. Even a time for every pursuit under the Shamayim. What is the purpose you are here on earth? It's not to achieve greatness and popularity. It's not to achieve fame and power. It is to rectify your mistakes, past mistakes, and live your lives in accordance to what your Creator has patterned you to live and to represent him properly here on earth. Let's continue. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to see you, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for battle and a time for shalom. What does the work again from his store? Now, what should I say? So I should tell his children. Because our salvation, our Yeshua, is nearer than we can ever think. He said, this is our time to heal. This is our time to build up. This is our time to laugh. This is our time to dance. This is our time to embrace. And this is our time to seek. Seek him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is our time to keep this is our time to sue and to mend our relationship with them and to also maintain and improve on our relationships with one, with each other. This is our time to speak, to speak about him. This is our time to love. Don't be afraid of loving in this season. As El Shaddai brings people your way. It's, if it's someone of the opposite sex that is coming and is expressing love to you, don't be afraid to also express love to the person. As long as you understand that what the person is expressing is pure love, not lust. You have to understand the difference. And this is the time to express the love of El Shaddai to everyone around you 
and to people you come in contact with. This is our time to love. And this is our time for shalom. This is the season we are in, Mishpaka. I pray you key into this season and enjoy everything that this season has to offer and eagerly and earnestly wait for your reassurance. Shalom and have a Baruch day ahead.